Hey everybody, I'm Fungasm here, playing Banjo-Kazooie. I just got back from putting this jiggy piece into this puzzle thing, and now we can go into Mumbo's Mountain. So that's a cool thing that we can do. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Mumbo's Mountain, here we go. Who's Mumbo? Who's... what? Why does he have a mountain? What's there to do in Mumbo's Mountain? I don't know, fucking know. We'll find out. Well, I did, actually, I do know, but if you haven't played this game, you should. And shame on you for not playing it. Play, not playing this game is like saying you never played Mario 64, and if you haven't played that either, well, what the fuck are you even doing on, like, a YouTube that's made for gaming? Like, this is my gaming channel, man. It's for gaming. Come on. Also, um, as I was talking over him, these guys are, like, little jiggies. Or, not jiggies. Jinjos. How can I forget Jinjos? Um, right there, this little guy. This guy right here, he's a Jinjo. There are like five of these in each world. If you collect all five of them, you get a, j a Jiggy piece. And that helps you complete one the world 100% and whatever. So, uh, yeah. We have to collect these notes throughout the world. Get 100 of them, 100 of them in each world. Uh, yeah. That's about it, really. Like, there's nothing really more to this game than just collecting a bunch of shit and listening to all the, like, in non-playable characters talk about stupid bullshit and uh also listen to bottles explain to you your moves so you can do better in the game the talent trot will let kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease that sounds useful how does she do it hold z then press the left c button continue to hold z while moving kazooie around with the control stick go practice thanks jerk so yeah, this is probably the most useful move in the game. Basically, you can just go up steep slopes like this, get to places, and you also go a lot faster. You must search for ten of us in each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. Oh boy! When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Thanks, Bottles. You're a dumb piece of shit. Get me some notes, get me some jiggies, and jinjos. I, why am I calling them jiggies when jiggies are obviously the jigsaw pieces? Me Mumbo's token, used for Mumbo magic. Thanks, Mumbo's token. And we never hear from him again. We're the eggs! Kazooie can learn to use us as an ammo thing. Great. Some notes. So yeah, um, this isn't really like a speedrun or anything, it's just me casually playing it. I do know the majority of the first early levels, but I don't, like, towards the end, towards the end levels of the game, or like, after like the second half, um, I get really sloppy about wearing, about, um, knowing where to go and what to do. Like, I don't know the exact location of every single Jiggy in this game. Like, if I did, I'd be amazingly good at speedrunning this game, but I'm not. It's not really something I practice or anything, and I, I just played this game a lot, and I know the majority of the earlier levels. So, that's about that. Oh, I have to learn the move here. I like that sound he makes. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, then press Z to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Gulp! I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. So yeah, this is basically a uh, ground pound type move, like in Mario. Bam! More music notes, very nice. Awesome. Um, that right there is my health bar, so if I lose health, one of those would go down. More eggs for me. And yeah, there's another Mumbo token. Ecom Bokum. Oh god, he hit me. He hit me. Oh well. Uh, let's kill him. Yeah, fuck you. And Mumbo is inside that giant creepy skull house thing. Uh, we're not gonna go in there yet, just because we need more Mumbo tokens to actually like use him for whatever he does. But, uh, yeah, 
I think you can also you can also get on top of Mumbo's house like this, I think. Yeah, check that out. Absolutely useless, but cool. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep breaking these little huts. There's a Jiggy in one of these. I think it's usually just the last one that shows up. Oh, I got a Jiggy for getting all the Jinjos. That's nice. Yeah, Jiggy get. That's 3 out of 10. Very nice. We're doing pretty good so far. There's another life thing. So we, if we ever die, we have six lives to spare, even though I probably won't die ever. Four Jiggies. This is going by a lot quicker than I thought it would. We Juju, Mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Okay. Uh, so basically these rotate, and oh, that's right, I don't have the uh, shooting power yet. Okay, I'll do that when I go see Mumbo, like, later. Okay, getting more notes. Nope, get that one. Get that. Okay. The camera angle on this can be a little bit difficult sometimes, but overall it's pretty okay. It's very free to move around, and like, usually you don't have any problems with it. Uh, you don't really get stuck in too many, like, places, and that's, it's like a really narrow, like, passageway, which I guess isn't really in this game too much. Did I get all the jiggies on this side? I did. Okay, here's another... Oh, there's... Not jig... Why do I keep saying jiggies? I said jiggies for Jinjos, and I'm saying jiggies for music notes now, also. Okay. Uh, there's a termite hill up there, which I'd want to go into last. And I believe there's a little pocket of... Yeah, right over here, where there is a empty honeycomb piece. Jump into the water. <laughs> Get these... Notes. <laughs> I am doing this so well. It's been a while since I played this game. I usually play this game like maybe once every year and a half or every two years. But uh, yeah, it, it is, like I said in the first video, my favorite game series ever. Um, simply because it has a very nice like charm to it, I guess. Like it has this like storytelling sort of like childhood thing to it. I don't know. Who's this guy? Grarg. This conga's tree. Me hit bear with oranges. There's actually um something cool about conga. Where, um... Oh, I missed. Um, if you shoot him with eggs or something... I, I forgot what it was exactly, but he calls himself... Con he calls himself Congo instead of conga. Kanga, yeah, he's, he, you see his name is Kanga, but in one of the text lines, he calls himself Kongo. And, uh, he does return in Banjo-Tooie also, but he calls himself Kanga there also, so it's just a bit... Also, these are the same monkey sounds that were used in Donkey Kong 64, also by Rare. Just, uh, interesting fact. Let's go get an orange for Chimpy. There we go. Here you go, Chimpy. Yum, oranges are nice. <laughs> oh, Chimpy like Kanga's orange. Chimpy help Fat Bear and Bird. Hey, who are you calling fat? You're the one eating oranges all day, you fucking monkey. Alright, another Jiggy get. That's pretty good for... What is it, like... How long has this video been going? I don't even know. There's a bit slow down. I don't know why that's there. Why is it slowing down like this? That's not good. Is it back to normal? It's fine. Okay. That was a bit odd. Um, hopefully it doesn't lag like that too much. That would be bad. Wouldn't want that to happen. Let's learn this... Actually, can we pause for a second and maybe like... Why is it lagging? Like, all of a sudden it was lagging. Do you want to let me close some programs? I will be right back. I have many messenger programs like Skype and MSN, Steam and everything on. So I will close all those and then I will return to the game. Maybe the game will run smoother. So yeah, be right back guys. Okay, so I'm back. That wasn't really much time for you guys. That was like a split second. Let's go ahead and learn this move, shall we? Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold Z, then press the stop C button to shoot an egg out. Okay. Sure, press the bottom C button instead, and you can shoot them out from your behind. Sheesh. 
Sounds painful. I wish I'd never ask. Great, so basically there's these are ammo I can aim and shoot eggs at people, and I can shoot them out my ass. So that's basically it. You can stop talking now, Battles. I got it. There's nothing more I can teach you in this world. Good, I don't have to see you for a while. <laughs> Collect more eggs. Get No, I fell. Aw, oh, I have to go back up. Okay. You see, only, like, in... Um, small, like, areas is that camera angle a bit odd. But other than that, the camera angle is pretty good in this game. Um, this is a grunty switch. There's one in every world, and it will unlock some sort of jiggy or something in the main world that you can collect, the main hub world. And, yeah. See, look, see what I mean about, like, weird camera angles? Like, it... it it works, but it's like very odd to move in. Anyway, shoot this guy with eggs. Jump over his stupid orange that he throws, or whatever. Another egg. Another orange. And bam, he's dead. Erg! Bear beat Conga! Me give prize to Bear! And we get another Jiggy. That is, I think, 7 out of 10? Or 8 out of 10? What is this? 8 out of 10. Very good. Good show, good show. Alright, so, oh god, ignore the bull. He hurts you. Alright, um, what else did I do? I have to go into Mumbo's Mountain. Or Mumbo's Skull. I need to go into the Termite Mountain thing, Termite Terrace. Uh, Totem Pulls, I have the eggs now, I can do that. Okay, here we go, Totem Pulls. I gotcha. Shoot the eggs into the mouth and they die, pretty much. I don't know why we're killing them. They did nothing to us. And they don't ever appear again. And I keep missing. There we go. And what you actually wanted to do with this, you don't want to shoot all of them, you want to leave one last. And then, uh, fucking- that went in his mouth. Holy shit. I don't have the aiming thing. That's in the second game. <laughs> Shoot it in the mouth. There we go. Okay, what you want to do is leave one last, jump up here, and you can get an empty honeycomb piece. Which a lot of people don't ever do. Like, they usually forget about it. Um... So yeah, that was that. Got another Jiggy. And now we only have... Wait for it. Yeah. That number. Um, before you do want to go into Mumbo's skull, there is a Mumbo token in here. So... You can't... I think you can actually go up this as Banjo Kazooie. You're not supposed to. Like, you're supposed to go up as... Um, whatever Mumbo helps you to do as, I'll, it'll, I'll, I'll reveal it later, even though you guys probably know it already. Anyway, um, let's get out of here. Let's go back to Mumbo, speak to him and his great wisdom of wisdom. God, fucking termite, get out of here. Um, yeah. I don't know what I was saying, but let's go see Mumbo. Mumbo, Jumbo, Jumbo Mumbo. Humbo Mumbo Jumbo Wumbo. What's up, buddy? Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can't help Banjo and filthy feathered one. Watch it, hut boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by which. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see. Mighty Mumbo magic! Oh boy, let's get these nugs first though. Get all these. And then, if you jump up here, there are a bunch of eggs and shit to collect. So I can regain some of the eggs I missed or lost from uh, shooting that giant stupid monkey. Conga, or Congo, or whatever the fuck his name was. Alright, stand on the sw- Whoa, he disappeared for a second there. Alright, anyway. Mumbo transforms us into a termite. 
So now we can jump around faster. Uh, we don't really have any fall damage at all, which is kind of odd, actually. But, uh, yeah. Let's go into the Termite Terrace place. Now we can climb that spiral thing inside that place. And, uh, that's a thing that we can do. Look at me go! I am sure I sure am a termite. Jumping around. I don't really have any powers. I can't do anything except for jump. But, uh, hey, let's be getting to here. This is always very odd to, like, climb, because, like, you have to, like, jump at the bottom edge of whatever it is you're climbing, and it's very odd to make... You see, like, the detection of where you're actually jumping is very odd on the platforms, because they're all slanted. And I always used to have trouble with this, and I still kind of do. And, uh... Yeah. No, I should have made that. Motherfucker. Hey! Where did you get those shorts? I want them. Alright. Jump over, jump over. Oh, I was on that. Fucking platforms. Okay, we can make it this time. We got this. Go, Banjo, go. Go, Termite Banjo. Yeah. Yeah, we did it, guys. Collect these notes. Give me that cool backpack or else. Hell no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go back down. Okay. <laughs> I remember, like, if I ever fell during this, like, climbing part over here, I would fall all the way back down, and it would be such a pain in the ass to get back up because I would keep sliding off and everything. And it just wasn't fun. Okay, this is the end of the uh, Termite Terrace tower thing. Termite Hill. There's another Banjo Life over here, which I don't even really need, but I'll collect it anyway. Uh... And up here is the last Jiggy. Yay, we got ten Jiggies. Now we can leave this stupid place. I think I have all the notes too, right? I should. <laughs> that little, like, ditty that plays. Okay, let's check the... Let's, um, check our totals. 100, 10, 2, and 17 minutes. Not bad, actually. Okay. Let's go. See, no fall damage at all. Um, instead of going back to Mumbo, I will actually leave the world as the Termite, because you can actually leave the world as the Termite and without his magic wearing off. And there's another Jiggy, which you saw the um, Grunty Switch activate, right outside of Mumbo's Mountain. So we will go ahead and climb this... Oh, um... Great. Great bottles, I don't care! Stop talking to me, you're, you're a nerd! Get out of here, nerd! You fucking dork. Okay, so we can climb this, get the Jiggy up here, and yeah. Baddies escape and roam once more. Hooray! So yeah, now we can let Mumbo's magic wear off. If you get too far away from him, uh, it'll wear off and you turn back to normal. So that all works out. We beat the world anyway. We don't have to go back. And with that, I will go ahead and go up this door, see what Bottles has to say, and stuff. Yeah, man! Hot dog. This is a note door, sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful music spells. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you must collect the musical notes from each world, blah 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 blah, whatever the door number is. Got it. So basically, we only needed 50 notes to get past the store. We have 100 because the first world was 100. Every world has 100 notes. So, uh... We're, I think we're gonna get through this game pretty smoothly. Alright, so uh, I think I'll also end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next part when we conquer Treasure Trove Cove. And whatever else we have to do. Okay, bye!